guys and welcome to today's video. Yes, you are looking at Christmas. It is fastly approaching and um, this is a Ray Dunn and home decor video and Ray Dunn starts putting out the Christmas in October so we're going with it. And plus I've gotten a lot of stuff from other places that I think is amazing and it'll give you guys plenty of time um, to find them maybe on sale um, all that good stuff. So we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to show you everything I have in front of you. I have a few of the Ray Dunn pieces already out and let's just jump in. We're going to zoom in to the star of the show. Yes, that's E.T. You guessed it. And um, the canister is from Marshall's and it came with a gnome head, but I took it off and put Reese's Pieces in there. If you're not familiar with E.T., it was a movie from my childhood, and when I see Gnome Home, it makes me think of Phone Home with E.T. Okay, so here we are up close. There's the canister, and then this is the lid um, that it came with. Okay, the little tray that it's sitting on, that is from Pinnetco. I will link that down below. I thought it looked really cute and I just kind of spread out the Reese's Pieces. Okay, so over here in the corner, we have um, this campfire down here, um, marshmallow tin. This is a vintage piece that I picked up. So sorry, I can't link that down below, but I absolutely love it. I'm trying to add in some vintage pieces. Okay, so up here, is a new mug that I picked up, the peppermint mocha, and then beside it is my cocoa canister from last year, and I spray painted the lid. That lid um, will fit on this one, but just not quite snug. I think it, I'll show it to you on there. Um, it just doesn't quite sit flat enough. This is a spray paint that I got, um, Rust-Oleum, and the color is Sunrise Red. I just ordered this from Amazon. I have Prime, mem I'm a Prime member, and I got it in like two days. <laughs> you can see my fingerprints on there from spray painting that, that lid. Okay, so I'm going to link the seller to these. I'm going to show you quite a few toppers that I got, but look how pretty that is. Okay, so this is Peppermint Mocha. This was just released, and this is um, from Home Goods. They have a new sticker, a smaller sticker. That was $5.99. I thought that topper went perfect with it. And Coco, I know Coco is out again, but um, that's my canister from last year, and that's a baby size if you can't tell. Sometimes the camera, you can't really tell what size everything is. Okay, and then up above my bench, I have this hot cocoa served here. I'll link this down below. Um, this was released this year, and this is from the Reclaimed Farmhouse. Um, and I do want to mention that the Reclaimed Farmhouse does have sezzle. It's like in, this isn't sponsored, I'm just saying. Um, they break it up, in, I think, into like four payments, um, so you don't have to pay for it all at once. But I love, love, love this sign. And I just used um, those little sticky things to put it on the wall. It was super easy. Okay. So then over here, this is from this year. I wanted to show this pillow. I have it turned around. This is from Kirkland's, this big pillow. Um, but it also on the other side has a big snowman on it. And I love, love, love this pillow. I like the burlap and the details on it are just stunning. This is um this pillow was $29.99. Okay. And then over here in the corner, I do have my Christmas tree up. Um, and then I have these um like vintage replica old skis sitting there. We are skiers. And those are from Pinnet Co. I thought those were adorable. And then I did a DIY around the base of this. Um, I painted just some old tiles. And I'll show you the paint that I used. I got it from Pinnet Co. It's the um, fusion paint in the color putty. So that's what's going around the bottom. And I just put like artificial snow in there. And then down below. Lamp that is also from Pinnaco, and then down here, under here, I have um, this little sled-like basket that's from Blue Lock 
Blue Rock Barn, and I'll link that down below. And then I'm gonna grab this basket that's under here because this blanket is um, a Christmas release from Kirkland's, and you guys, it is life. It is so pretty. Okay, so I brought the basket up here. This little pillow I got last year from Home Goods. Well, I thought I had the tag on it still, but isn't that cute? It was like $9.99. And then in here is the blanket I'm talking about. This basket's also from Kirkland's. If I can, I will link it down below. But here is the blanket in all of its glory. Aren't these pretty? These colors pretty? And it's got like the tassel all the way around. It's so soft. This is a great find. I know it's only October, but Kirkland stuff goes so, so fast. So if you guys are interested in this, I can't find it online. I found it in store. So if you guys have a chance to run into a Kirkland, you should look for this because I think it's something that's, it's going to be gone. I wanted to show this Christmas bulb. I got this last year at Home Goods. I have it kind of setting off to the side of my bench. This bench is from Kirkland's too, in case you're curious. Um, but I really love this. I think it's so pretty. So I wanted to show you guys that so you could be on the lookout. I'm pretty sure it's it's out again this year. I'm not sure if I said where my tree is from. from. My Christmas tree is from QVC. I've had it a couple years. So I put that red lid on that I spray painted. Like, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I wish they would make the lids interchangeable. So if you're not crazy about the topper on it. Um, but, I mean, I think that doesn't look bad from a distance. I mean, up close you could tell. But maybe you could put, like, a ribbon or something around it. I even took off, like, the little plastic thing that kind of locks it down. But it's still, it doesn't quite sit as flat as it does on a regular canister. I put it back on the cocoa so see you can see what I'm talking about. Like it normally just sits completely flat. And then here's what it looks like with the topper that it came with. It's really cute, but I just wanted to do an ET theme with it, so that's so why I took it off. Okay, guys, next up we have um a new set. This is new release this year. Um, and it has the cellar that says cocoa on it and the mug that says hot cocoa. And the packaging is to die for. Oh, it's heavy. Um, this is TJ Maxx, $16.99. And this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's take it out and look at it. Okay, there it is out of the package. And I put it in this little tray that I got from Pinnet Co. I think that's gorgeous and I think it looks so cute. So there it is. And then I also got this topper, which I will link down below um, where this is from. But look, it's got like little logs on it, little marshmallows. Isn't this adorable, you guys? And then here's the cocoa up close. If you're not familiar with it, it has a lid that seals down on it. How cute is this? The sellers are my absolute favorite from Ray Dunn. I absolutely love them. I love them more than canisters. I like the sellers and then I like the the baby um, canisters too. Okay, I got a couple more mugs. So we have Under the Mistletoe. This is that pretty green. And this was TJ Maxx, $5.99. And then here's another topper. I got these toppers all from the same person. It's got sparkle all over it. You can't really tell. Look, there's even like little snowmen on the straw. Okay, and then we've got Elf. And look at this topper. That adorable. The detail's amazing. Okay, and this is red inside. And this is Home Goods, $5.99. And that has that new small sticker on there and they're so cute i'm a sucker for toppers okay and then two more mugs both of these are from home goods we have reindeer slushy that was 9.99 and tis the season is 5.99 and i don't really know what a reindeer slushy is if anyone knows you can tell me down in the comments below um it's probably an adult beverage is my guess but um it, it let's let's take reindeer slushy apart i'm not even sure if it's colored inside or not and then tis the season um is a solid red 
and I also got a little snowman topper. It didn't come with it. Okay, there it is apart, and it's wide inside. But I think it's cute. I like the little topper. I don't really use these toppers in my decor. I mean, I guess you could use them um, on a tiered tray or whatever, but I just really liked the reindeer slushie. It's just different and fun. We need a little bit of fun in 2020. Hey guys, it's getting good around here. Look at this set. Santa's cookies and milk for Santa. This is another seller. This is Home Goods, $16.99. Um, I'm going to take these out of here because that is what's so amazing about this. I'm so excited to show you. Okay, here it is out of the package, but we'll come up close. This is so pretty, but on the back of Milk for Santa, there's a little cup. That matches this one. Oh my gosh, it's everything. It's life. I absolutely love this set. So worth your money. Okay, and then the last few things are some baking sets. So here's this one. You've got three little spatulas. And this was Marshall's, $5.99. And then there's one that says naughty and nice. And then they have um, a reindeer and a gingerbread man um, cookie cutter. And those are $7.99. And then I really loved this little like spackled looking baking pan. It says Noel. Yeah, both of them say Noel. And this was Marshall's $12.99. Isn't that pretty? I found a Tis the Season rolling pin. I like that it's like rubberized here. It doesn't weigh 80,000 pounds um, like the one I had last year. And I got this at Marshall's for $7.99. And then last thing, which I really like, is this baking sheet. And again, it has a speckledness to it. And I love this rubberized whisk and um, a spatula. And it also has like the cooling rack. And this was, oh, here's the tag. This was um, $14.99. Okay, guys. Well, I've tried to make this video not too long. Um, I do have another. This is my second Christmas video that I put out, so I'm going to link the other one down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's pretty soon for Christmas, but I just wanted to give you guys some inspiration, time to do some DIYs, use some spray paint if you want, have a little bit of fun. And um, okay, guys, go out there hunting, but stay safe. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you for watching. Stay safe.